Let's start things off with a bang and talk about explosions. Sorry, my knee hit the table. What's up, guys? Scott here from Behind the Frame, a new show by NerdSync Productions that's going to be teaching you guys how to do some awesome prop builds and costumes and special effects so that you can pay tribute to the things that you love by building something from that universe, making a short fan film or something, or even just making your original idea come to life by getting the tools and techniques necessary to do so. We're going to start off super, super simple in this first episode, we're going to be talking about exporting or rendering out pre-keyed footage. Uh, and also, we're going to be all talking about keying stock footage that you find on the internet. Now, this is a tutorial that we made a while ago, so I apologize if you've already seen it, but a lot of things have changed, and we're actually, if you stick around to the end, there's an update using a third-party plugin that's free that will also do this thing, so you don't want to miss that, but the tutorial I'm about to show you is just the After Effects native plugins, how you can achieve keying out, say, explosions and fire, and then rendering those out with the transparency so that you can just drag and drop them into your scene from then on out. You don't have to key it out anymore. It's a really good time saver for when, when you're working on projects that have a lot going on in one scene and you don't want to have to key out every single individual thing. You just want to have those at the ready so that you can use them whenever you want. And, uh, I hope you guys like it, and um, let's let's just get right to it then. Now, this obviously works for more things than fire, but we're going to be using fire as our example. So, when we're going to be doing the behind the frame effects, we're going to be using lots of stock footage of fire and explosions and dust elements and stuff. And what I love to use is Video Copilot's Action Essentials 2. They got tons and tons of great stuff. And if you know anything about After Effects, you've probably heard of this website. They got some amazing stuff here. So what is great about them is not only how high quality they are and how great they look, but how they're also pre-keyed, says so right there. Now, what is pre-keyed? What does that mean? Well, let's take a look at one of their explosions right here. This is a video co-pilot explosion from Action Essentials 2. Now, it looks really awesome, and this is how it comes right out of the box. Now, let's get into the whole pre-keyed thing. So what pre-keyed means is that if I were to turn off this black solid, it shines through to this magenta one. Why? Because it's pre-keyed. That's what it is. It's, it comes with just the explosion already, so you can use it. You can plop it right onto your uh, footage. That way you don't have to, like, luma key it out, and it would look awful or whatever. So we're going to go ahead. Even if we turn off the magenta solid, you can see right here on our transparency grid, this is what it is right here. And so let's say that maybe you have some stock footage that you found on the internet that you want to make pre-keyed so that you can just drag it into as many clips and compositions that you're working with as you want. You don't want to have to key it out every single time. So we need to make some pre-keyed footage and we need to key it out good so that it looks good. And so we're going to dive into that today. This is, this is what we're going to tackle. So here is some cool fireball. This is like a slow motion fireball that I found on the internet. And uh, it looks really cool. The only problem is, if I were to turn on, as you can see, without these backgrounds on, they it's not working for me. I can turn the black off. The magenta is not shining through. It should be, but it's not. So this is our problem. We need to make sure, even with that off, the transparency doesn't, grid doesn't shine through. So let's see if we can go ahead and tackle this. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to, and this is a very simple process, only a couple clicks. So make sure our layer is selected. We're going to go up to Effect, Channel, and Shift Channels. Then over here in the effects controls, we're going to take alpha from and click red. And right there, we are already a step in the right direction here. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. And so all we really need to do is one more step, and that is effect, channel, remove color matting. There you go. That's basically all you need to do for this. Now, color correction is optional. For example, it's a little too orangey for me. Uh, whereas, you know, this explosion is more kind of red and white and that's where I would go, but we'll skip that step for now. Just letting you know that that is something that you could do. So if I show you right here, it does shine through on the magenta and obviously you won't see it on the black, but it looks, you know, it still looks good on the black. So there is your 
there's your setup right there. Now this is only about half of the process because now we need to output it. We need to render it out with this transparency and only a couple formats will do that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go to composition, add to render queue. And from here, and I'm just going to point out that my setup might be a little bit different from your guys's. I prefer the render queue to be up here because I usually render out large batches of things. Yours might be somewhere down here with all of the um, layers and stuff. But it doesn't matter where it is. Not important. What we're going to do is click on lossless here. And we're going to be formatting to QuickTime because I feel like that's best. Now, if we click on format options, there's a couple of them that will render out the alpha, which is your transparency. So animation is where it is standard, and that's actually a really good one. That will render out your transparency, but it is very large. The file size is enormous. I think just this slow motion, I think it's 17 seconds long or something like that. This uh, file will be like 3 to 4 gigs. It's, it's ridiculous. It's outrageous. So that is something that you can do if you want to do that. Um, it is a really good codec. But that's not what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using one that is about half the file size right here, PNG. You can also use Apple ProRes if you would like, and I believe that's also a little bit smaller. But I'm going to be using PNG, and we're just going to hit OK. And this is the most important step right here. We're going to go to Channels, and we're going to go ahead and hit RGB plus Alpha. And remember, Alpha is your transparency. So now this is going to be where you're pre-keyed footage is going to be coming into play right here because now when you render out with the colors and the transparency every time you drag it into a new composition it's going to be pre-keyed all set for you guys ready to go so you don't have to follow these steps every single time now of course what's going to happen is the outputted file size will be a lot larger than the original file size of just this non-keyed footage so if it's worth it then do it if it's not then skip it what I'm saying is if you don't need your footage to be constantly pre-keyed, then don't worry about it. But if you're like me and you constantly are using fire and stuff, it's a hassle to try to key all of this footage every time that you want it to be in your composition. So pre-keying is definitely the way to go here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And we'll go ahead and we're not going to hit render yet because I want to show you a little bit. But that is basically the gist of it. That once you hit render, it's going to start rendering. And PNG takes a little bit longer than other codecs. I mean, it, even animation takes really long. PNG takes way longer. But that's because it's trying to make it as good quality as it can at a, full, at a small file size. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this water one to show you that it works on more than just fire. So first thing I'm going to do is go to effect... Uh, color correction and tint that's gonna make it black and white for me because I don't know why the stock place I got it from made it blue water like blue water is realistic I, I don't know it's because it's not so I'm gonna show you right now that it is still not keyed at all this magenta should be showing through and it is not so we're gonna go ahead and take these same steps as before go to effect color correction or no channel <laughs> sorry and shift channels and take alpha from red and that's going to make it look pretty awful but that's only a little bit of the steps so we go back to channel and we go to remove color matting boom there you go and obviously if we put it on black you can see it better but showing that it's on magenta or on the transparency grid you can barely see it at all but you know just to show you that there is transparency there now another reason I put a tint on it is because it wouldn't really work in this particular instance. If I took the tint off, you know, it would remove the blue anyway, plus it made it darker and not great. So we could actually take alpha from blue and that would uh, keep our blue color and also remove the transparency. So that's also another thing that you could do. I wasn't really worried about keeping the blue color in there, so I just applied this tint, and uh, there you go. It it's, uh, still works totally fine. But that's why this is not any sort of replacement for Luma Keying if you're doing some person on a background because it's trying to get transparency. So if you do a person on a black background and you're trying to key out the black background, what's going to happen is it's going to make your person transparent in some areas so it's not going to work out well for you i would still stick to luma king and everything but we'll get to that 
probably some other day. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and output this keyed footage that we have created, and we're gonna go and go composition, adds a render queue, make sure we hit all of our same settings again, go down to PNG, hit OK, remember RGB plus alpha, hit all right, and you know, there you go, and you just go ahead and hit render, and you are all set. But that's essentially it, you guys. Like I said, it's a very simple tutorial, but it is a huge time saver when you're like me and drag a whole bunch of assets that you find on the internet that aren't keyed. So bringing them in every single time you wanna use them and having to key them out is such a hassle. So outputting the pre-keyed footage and so you can use it with any sort of work that you're working on later, it's gonna save you time in the long run. But there is, probably an even simpler way to do it using a third party plugin that is completely free and you can download it right now. It's called Null Unmolt and it is from Red Giant and they make some awesome stuff. If you haven't checked them out, I sincerely suggest that you do so. Null Unmolt takes everything that we've done so far and basically just makes it a click and drag equation. You just take Unmolt, from your effects and presets, you can drag it onto your footage, and there it is, all of the work is already done for you guys. Super simple, couldn't be easier. And now you guys know two ways to achieve this effect, one using native plugins to After Effects, and the other one using a third party plugin. So I hope this helps you guys out in the long run, and uh, I think that'll be it for this episode of Behind the Frame. We have some great stuff coming for you guys. We got some great props coming by my good buddy, Josh and some more in-depth After Effects tutorials that are achieving some really cool effects that you guys can use. But if you like this, please, we would love for you guys to subscribe below. It really helps us out. And you can also follow NerdSing Productions on Facebook and Twitter. And you can follow me on Twitter at Scott Nicewander. And I really hope to see you guys here next time on Behind the Frame. But that's it for now. We'll see you later. Null Unmolt is one of the ones that will definitely work for you. I don't know why I'm saying that. Of course it will work for you. Like it wouldn't work for specifically you. Because you know what you did. Don't pretend, don't pretend you don't know. They know. Red Giant knows. And they will not let their plugins work for you. You're disgusting.